In the first case of its kind, a suspected Islamist militant accused of destroying historic monuments in the Malian city of Timbuktu is to face charges of war crimes. Ahmed Al-Mari Al-Faki was handed over by the authorities in Niger and has been transferred to the International Criminal Court in The Hague. And from there, Anna Holligan sent this report. These were the irreplaceable treasures of Timbuktu, torn down in the name of radical Islam. Ahmed al-Faki al-Mahdi is charged with the destruction of nine mausoleums and a mosque during the occupation by Islamist militants in 2012. He was a member of a group linked to al-Qaeda and is alleged to have been involved with the Islamic court of Timbuktu that gave the orders to attack these sacred buildings. The mausoleums were shrines to Timbuktu's founding fathers who'd been venerated as saints a practice that fundamentalists consider to be blasphemous. The charges are unprecedented. This is the first case to be brought before the ICC that deals with the destruction of buildings dedicated to religion and historical monuments. The prosecutor describes them as an assault on the dignity and identity of entire populations. And Fatou Ben Souda says that the people of Mali deserve justice for the attacks on their cities and their beliefs. This is the first time that on the strength of the evidence collected, my office has brought such charges against a suspect in proceedings before this court. We will continue to do our part to highlight the severity of such war crimes in the hope that such efforts will deter similar crimes in the future. Timbuktu is listed as a World Heritage Site from the 13th to the 17th century, it was the center of Islamic learning. During the Islamist occupation, thousands of manuscripts were destroyed and with them a record of a way of life based on the respect of a secular state. The militants were eventually removed by French forces in 2013, but the scars are yet to heal. Local stonemasons have been diligently trying to restore their cultural heritage using the techniques passed down from their ancestors. Anna Holligan, BBC News, in The Hague.